everyone, this is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today, instead of doing a makeup tutorial, I decided to do a major makeup haul video. And this is a huge haul because I bought all these products over the past few months, accumulated them, kept them one side, and I have not even touched most of these products. So I'll be opening some of them for the first time today. I'm really excited because I bought from so many different brands in store. So there are many products to be shared, so let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to start off with my Sephora haul. Let me start off with some products that I've actually been using and I just bought um, to refill. So the first product is this Professional Primer. I think that a lot of people are using this and I am also using this. So I really like this and I bought, I think this is the third tube that I've bought. So if you're looking for a great primer to minimize your pores, this would be the one for you. Okay. Another product that I bought to keep because I used it up would be this NYX Jumbo Pencil. And I really like this shade because it's like kind of like a rose gold shade. And it's called Yogurt. I also bought another one which I've not used before but I really like it because it's a very nice gold shade that would be easy to wear. And this is number 625 in Sparkle Nude. Moving on to another product that I really really like and I've already started using would be this NYX um, blush palette. I really like it because they are, the colour range is so awesome. The colour shades are so good for different kinds of skin tone. I also like that there are two highlighters, they are so pigmented and they can really last a long time. So I only have to use a little bit at a time. So these are all the colours. The highlighters would be these two shades. Another blush that I bought would be this Tarte blush. So, let me open it up for you. So this shade looks like that. And this is the colour Seduce. You can see that it's a really matte dried rose shade. Another benefit product I bought would be this mascara called Roller Lash. I bought this mascara in the small size because mm, the previous mascara that I bought from Benefit, um, which is the Bad Girl Mascara, I did not really like it because it clumps a lot and it just didn't, I just didn't really like the formula. So I decided to try another one which I heard great reviews about. That's why I got the small one and I'm really excited to try this out soon. From Benefit, I also bought this concealer called the Fake Up Concealer. So I really like that this concealer has um, moisturizing properties so it's supposed to hydrate and also not um, give you any creases. That's why it looks like that. So you can see that the concealer is in the middle and it's surrounded by a balm. So that is supposed to help to hydrate your under eyes. Okay, on to a palette that I'm really excited to share with you and this is the Zoeva Rose Golden Eyeshadow Palette. Here it is, here are all the colours. I think that these shades are so incredibly beautiful and they would be so easy to wear and use for a lot of bridal makeup or natural everyday makeup which is why I decided to get this. Moving on to some Korean brands in Sephora. I'll start with this brow shaper pencil that I bought from Moonshot. I've been looking for a brow pencil for a very long time and I couldn't find one that um, really matched what I needed. I like a brow pencil where the colour comes off quite easily but a lot of the brow pencils that I tried actually um, the colour doesn't come off that well. So I bought this brow pencil in the shade Deep Brown because I have like jet black hair. So it's in this shade which I find really natural and not too light since I have dark hair. So the final makeup products I bought from Sephora are from this brand called 3CE and this is a Korean brand. I really like their lipstick shades and they have such an incredible range. So I picked out these three colours which I really really like that I've been into the rosy shades, which is why I got these three shades. The first shade that I'll be sharing with you is 
the first one that I bought, which is in the shade Classic Rosy. I've used this shade in one of my previous tutorials, but since I was going to share on this lipstick that I just bought, I thought that I'll include this as well. So this is how the shade looks like. The next colour I want to share is this colour called Old Dress. This is like a mauve shade and it has been my favourite recently. So this is the shade. So it's kind of like a dark nude pink. And it's so similar to the nail polish that I'm wearing right now. The final shade that I want to share is, uh, is the darkest shade. And this is called Vamp. I've always picked out lipsticks that are a berry shade. And I find that you cannot go wrong with berry shades because they just go well with so many looks. I'm not sure if you can tell but the formula for these two lipsticks are actually more matte than this one. So this one has a bit of a glossier texture. So this is actually the shade that I'm wearing on my lips right now. But I didn't apply it too much. Actually, I just applied a very, very thin layer. So this concludes my haul from Sephora. I'll be moving on to my next haul. And this haul is from Watson's, where all the drugstore products are from. So the first product is this concealer that I bought from Maybelline. I have used it in many of my videos. And this is probably my fourth tube. I really like it. I think that it matches my skin um, in the exact shade, which is why I always go back to this concealer again. I bought a few products from this brand called Catrice, and this brand is really, really affordable, um, and they have such a great range of products. I bought this bronzer, and I've tried it, and this bronzer has quite a lot of orange undertones. Um, which can give a lot of warmth to the face. So if I'm going for a more tanned or warm look, then I would definitely use this bronzer. From Catrice, I also bought this eyeshadow called La Vie en Rose. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But it's this really gorgeous, sparkly rose gold shade. And finally, I got this lip product from Catrice and you can see that it is quite similar. It's kind of an in-between of the two mauve rosy shades. Just that this one has a lot more gloss to it. I also bought this mascara from Clio, which is a Korean brand. And I actually have this uh, in my collection already. But I really like it because it just gives such natural lashes. And that's what I'm using for my eyes right now. So I decided to buy another one. I also picked out some false eyelashes and this is from Diamond Lash. I like that it is really quite natural looking but would give a lot of volume to the eyes. And also this one from Eye Amazing. So I think that this is really suitable for bridal makeup and it will help to elongate especially the ends of the lashes. So I bought these two because they were the more natural looking ones. So I'm done with my Watson's makeup haul, so I'll be moving on to the Korean brands. I'll start from Etude House, and I only bought a few items from this brand. So during that time, I was actually looking for a contour shade that had lesser red undertones, and just like a cooler brown. So I picked this up, and this is number 5 Tight Shading Corset. Um, I do find that it is slightly cooler and um, not as orange or red as the other browns that I have. So I also decided to pick up a makeup tool which is this Wedge Puffs. I never tried Wedge Puffs before and I did try one out already. And I do like it because it just really helps to um, tap your product in and gives a very very natural finish. So that is what I really like about using puffs or sponges. Next are the products that I bought from Innisfree. So let me start off by introducing this product which has almost nothing left. And this is the green tea cleansing water. 
I bought this because I really wanted to try a cleansing water instead of like um, cleansing oils or the makeup wipes because I wanted something that was more natural so that it was less harsh for my skin that is the reason why I picked this up and I like that it was green tea because green tea always is more nourishing so after using this I did find that my skin um, was in much it was in a much better condition and I did not break out as much so, so this is a product that I really really recommend so after I was done using this I thought of picking up a new bottle but when I was in Innisfree I saw a new product that they had and this is the sea salt cleansing water I've tried it out at the store and I liked um, how my skin felt and looked after wiping it on my skin mm, it did give a nice glow to the skin and this apparently helps to completely remove makeup and still keep the skin fresh and soft I think another property of sea salt is also that it helps to remove dead skin cells so I'm looking forward to how it would help to improve my skin the next product I got because it was just in such a cute packaging and this is the no sebum mineral powder this is how it looks and this the powder is inside you can see that you can tell that the powder is really really fine and it's very very soft and it will definitely give a very silky finish so I'm looking forward to using this especially to touch up my makeup so the final product I got from Innisfree is this eye contouring stick so this is how it looks and I got it in the shade dark cherry chocolate so this is the color what's great about this product is that it just glides on so easily so you can see that the color just comes off in one stroke just to show you more of the color it's kind of a deep burgundy brown so I'm finally at the last batch of makeup products and these are the products that I bought from online stores so they're all here okay let me start off with a product that I was really really looking forward to my friend recommended this to me and I also saw many many makeup youtubers using this and this is the Eclipse powder pack so I've tried it out already and this product gives a really nice silky texture to your skin so it's really great for touching up your makeup or for just going for a very translucent look the next Korean brand that I'll be introducing to you is this brand called Bia and Bia is very known for their eye pigments that's why I decided to try out one typically I'm not very into all these glitters but after seeing so many people use them I just had to try one so I decided to buy one which I thought I would use and it's in this rose gold shade so this is the colour so just taking some of the product from the cat, you can see that this shade is very very pigmented and it really really reflects light so I believe that if you put this on your eye, it will really stand out and really highlight your eyes since I got that eye pigment, I also decided to pick up an eyeshadow and of course I got one that is matte so and again this is a mauve dried rose shade so the final makeup product that I bought from this online store is this product by The Sam and it's the Cushion Button Lid so I decided to try out a pinky shade actually I can't really pull off pink shades very well but I thought of just giving it a try and I loved how this product looked so this is the pink shade So I'm done with all the products from the online store. I just have two last products to share with you. And these are, these are from like random stores. The first product that I want to share is this eyeshadow quad. And I picked this up from Miniso. So I was passing by and I saw this eyeshadow quad. 
and I really really like the colours which is why I decided to get it. So I thought it would be such a great um, eyeshadow to bring when I'm travelling because it has a nice mixture of um, light shades and then a dark shade to just define the eyes. And I find that the packaging is just so nice and sleek um, and it's so affordable. I think I only got it for less than $5. My final final product is this product that I was looking forward to for a very long time and I waited for it patiently. And it's from this brand called Glossier. My friend had a friend who went to US and visited this store. So I decided to pick out one of their products. So I saw this product online and it is just so incredible. Um, I liked you know, how they actually tested out these products on different skin tones and how it just suits all the skin tones. And this is their Cloud Paint. So I've had this for a while now but I can't bear to use it because the packaging is just so lovely and so cute. And this shade is called Dusk. So I'm finally done with all the makeup hauls and the beauty products that I got from the different brands. I really hope that you'll also get the chance to pick out some of these products for yourself. Do remember to give this video a thumbs up and also stay tuned for more of my makeup tutorials because I'll try to use all these makeup products that you saw in this video and share with you on the texture and how well it works for my skin. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye!